at Lesson 1.7, and we're going to use place value to add three-digit numbers. If you've missed the previous videos, they're linked in the description in the third grade math playlist. We've learned to add two-digit numbers by regrouping ones to the tenths place value. We have 8 plus 4, which is equal to 12. A 12 is 110 and two ones. We regroup the 10 up here. We add the tens column, and we get 32. So 18 plus 14 is equal to 32. We can add three-digit numbers by using place value and regrouping. We need to add 384 plus 158. We start with the ones place. We add the 4 and the 8, which is a 12. 12 is 110 and two ones. We regroup the 10 up here to the tens place. We add 8 plus 5 plus 1. That's equal to 14. We regroup the 10 tens up here and the 4 tens down here because remember we're adding 1 10 plus 8 tens plus 5 tens. That gives us 14 tens. We regroup 10 tens up here as 100 and put the 4 tens in the tens place. Then we add the hundreds place value. 1 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 5. So it's equal to 542. That's our sum. So this is what's happening when we're adding and regrouping. We want to add 178 plus 145. We have 100, 7 tens, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 tens, and we have 8 ones. We're going to add 100, 4 tens, and 5 ones to it. When we add the ones place, we add the 8 ones and the 5 ones. We add these to these. That's 13 ones. We can move two of these little ones up to here to make a new 10. And that's going to leave three little ones down here. Now we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 tens. 1 10 plus 7 tens plus 4 tens is 12 tens. See? We can regroup. 10 of these tens as a 100. See, that's what we did by putting it up here. So here we have 7, 8 tens. We can take two of these and put them up here. And now we've created another 100. We're left with two tens and three ones here. See, two tens, three ones. Now we have 100, 200, 300. 323. And we can add three digit numbers by using place value and regrouping mental math, estimating, or with the break apart strategy. And we've learned these methods, these strategies, in the last few videos, haven't we? Emma is planning a trip to Arkansas. Her airplane leaves from Columbus, Ohio, and stops in Nashville, Tennessee. Then it flies from Nashville to Little Rock, Arkansas. How many miles did Emma travel on the airplane? So it's giving us a map. We need to look closer at the map. She traveled 334 miles to Nashville, then 349 miles to Little Rock, Arkansas. We need how many miles she traveled completely, so we need to add the 334 plus the 349. We can round to the nearest tens place and make an estimate. For 334 rounded to the nearest tens place, the 4 tells the 3 in the tens place to stay the same, then it becomes a 0, so it rounds to 330. For 349, the 9 in the ones place tells the 4 in the tens place to go up 1, so it goes to a 5, and it becomes a 0, so it rounds to 350. Now we can add the two numbers we rounded. 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 3 is 8, 3 plus 3 is 6. We have an estimate of about 680 miles that she traveled on the airplane. So we know our answer, our sum, is going to have to be around 680. So we're going to add 334 plus 349. We can use place value. We start with the ones place. We add 9 plus 4. That's 13. That's a 110 and three ones. We regroup the 
10 into the tens place and write the 3 in the ones place. Now we add the tens and regroup the tens as hundreds and tens if we need to. We're adding 1 plus 3 plus 4. Do we need to regroup? Well, that's only 8 tens. So no, we don't need to regroup that column. We just put the 8 down. Then we add the 3 plus 3 for the hundreds and get 683 miles that Emma traveled on the airplane. And 683 is very close to the 680 we estimated. So we know we had a good estimate and we know our sum must be correct. We added 334 plus 349 and our sum was 683. We can use the commutative property of addition to check our answer. So remember, the commutative property of addition says that we can change the order of the add-ins and we'll get the same sum. So we could put 349 on top, 334 on the bottom, and add them starting with the ones place. 9 plus 4 is 13. That's a 10 and 3 ones. We regroup the 10 into the tens place, put the 3 ones down. 1 plus 4 plus 3 is 8. 3 plus 3 is 6. We have 683, just like we did when we added it this way. Now later on, I'm going to show you how we can check our addition using subtraction, if you don't already know how to do that. We can find 452 plus 49 in two ways. We can use the break apart strategy that we've learned before, and we could use place value and regrouping. The first thing we do is we round to get an estimate. This 2 is telling the 5 in the tens place to stay the same, then it turns into a 0. So if we round 452 to the nearest tens place, we'll get 450, 450. And this 9 is telling the 4 to go up to a 5, then it turns into a 0, so that's 50. 0 plus 0 is 0, 5 plus 5 is 10. We regroup the 1 and put the 0 down here, 1 plus 4 is 5. So our estimate is about 500. Using the break apart strategy, if you remember from the previous videos, we break apart the number into expanded form, 400 plus 50 plus 2, then we add 40 plus 9. Make sure we've got them all lined up in the correct place value column. For the break apart strategy, we start with the largest place value first. There's nothing here, so that's just a 400. 50 plus 40 is 90 plus 11. 9 plus 2 is 11, and these two together, the 90 plus 11 is equal to 101. When we add that to the 400, we get 501. That's very close to our estimate. Using place value and regrouping, we add the ones place. 9 plus 2 is 11. That's 110 and 11. We regroup the 110 into the tens column, and we can add doubles here. A 4 and a 1 makes a 5, so we have a 5 plus 5. That's 10. That's 10 tens. We regroup the 10 tens as 100 and put 0 in the tens place, and 1 plus 400 is 500. We can use place value to add 3 add-ins. We could even do 4 or 5 or more add-ins. We have 145 plus 352 plus 204. We can estimate a sum first. We can round these to the nearest tens place. The 5 tells the 4 to go up to the next digit, a 5, and then it becomes a 0. So that rounds to 150 to the nearest tens place. The 2 tells the 5 to stay the same, so it becomes a 0. We have 350. This 4 tells the 0 to stay the same. This rounds to 200 when we round it to the nearest tens place. We add 150 plus 350 plus 200, we get 700. So our answer should be about 700. The first thing we do is add the ones column and regroup if we need to. We have 5 plus 4 is 9 plus 2 more is 11. So that's a 10 and 1, 1, isn't it? Then we add the tens column and regroup if we need to. We have a 5 and a 1 and a 4, which makes a 5, so that's a doubles, isn't it? We have 5 plus 5 is 10, so we have 10 tens. We can regroup it, the 10 tens, as a 100 and put a 0 in the tens place. Then we add the hundreds and we get 5, 6, 7. Our estimate was 700. 
our actual sum was 701. So our estimate was very close, wasn't it? We can find unknown digits by looking at the sum. The sum is going to give us a clue. We have a digit missing from this number and two digits missing from this number. This one's got something in the tens place missing. This one's got something from the hundreds and the ones place missing. And starting with the ones place, we ask ourselves, what digit can we add to eight to have a four in the ones place of the sum? 8 plus 6 is equal to 14. If we put a 6 here, then we're going to have to regroup the 1 from the 14, the, ten, the 110, and then put the 4 down. So we're going to put a 6 there and regroup a 1. Then we ask ourselves, what digit can we add to 5 tens with this regrouped digit to get a 3 in the tens place as a sum? Well, 110 plus 7 tens plus 5 tens is equal to 13 tens. We can regroup 10 of those tens as 100 and then put the 3 tens down here. Then, what digit can we add to 3 hundreds with the regrouped digit, that 1, to get a 5 in the hundreds place? It would be a 1. So we know the missing numbers are a 7 in this tens place, a 1 in the hundreds place, and a 6 in the ones place. And the sum helped us find those missing digits. Now let's take a look at this addition problem. Starting with the ones place, we ask ourselves, do we need to regroup the ones? We have 1 plus 4 plus 2. Do you think we need to regroup that? If you said no, you're right. That's just 7, isn't it? We don't need to regroup. Now we look at the tens place. Do you think we need to regroup the tens? If you said yes, you're right. We have 9 plus 5, which is 14, plus 6 more is 20. 20 is 2 tens and 0 ones, but these are all tens. So that means we're going to have a 2 up there and a 0 down there. We made 200 from these 20 tens. Now we add the hundreds place. 2 plus 2 is 4, plus 1 is 5, plus 1 is 6. Our sum is 607. So sometimes when we're regrouping, it's not just going to be a 1 like we've been doing. There could be a 2 there, and if we have a lot of digits that we're adding, it could be a 3 or a 4. It could go all the way up to 9, okay? So as you're doing your work, if you come across any problems, go back and watch a previous video to figure out what you missed, all right? Remember to make your columns nice and straight, and make sure you regroup if you need to. One way to make straight columns is to turn school paper sideways so the lines are going vertically up and down. That'll help you keep your columns nice and straight. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you next time when we talk about estimating differences, which is estimating with subtraction. Bye.